Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be about Bergson and his time of consciousness versus time of matter. First of all, sorry about this uh, dead pixels here in my camera. Don't know what's up with that, but bear with me. So Henry Bergson is a philosopher, or was a philosopher, from uh, the French spiritualist movement. And he was part of a, a group of philosophers that were reacting against a heavily materialistic and um, solely focused on the matter group of philosophers that were coming forth from this time of industrialization, this time of mechanization of things. <coughs> and he was reacting against that as a reduction of the human being to something that was merely an object. And so the way he did that, part in part, was to distinguish between his concept of time of matter versus a time of consciousness. So what is time of matter? And time of matter is that which is measurable, that which is quantifiable. Um, this would be seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, um, that which you can measure, you can count, such as that, um, which the human being does partake in a quantifiable time. But also on top of that, the human being experiences a time of consciousness, according to Bergson. So this time of consciousness, uh, his great contribution to uh, this uh, era of philosophy, is that which, it is those, those changes in states, emotional states, thoughts, uh, any mental states, changes of those constitute the time of, of consciousness. So the time of consciousness is that perception, it is the experience that we have of time. So, for instance, you may experience uh, playing a really fun game or having a great conversation with someone as going by really quickly. Whereas on the flip side, you may experience uh, a long, boring lecture or waiting in an office somewhere as taking a lot of time, whereas they might have the same time or uh, the, the time, the duration, the quantifiable duration, the time of matter might be the same. Uh, the time of consciousness, what we experience, the amount of changes in our mental states might be different. And so that concludes this video about Henry Bergson's time of consciousness versus the time of matter.